Welcome to Quantum Analyst, a channel focused on quantum technology, with fact-based research. When will the quantum computing industry welcome its chat GPT moment? The only thing it needs is a killer application. Among the many potential applications, the Quantum Monte Carlo in finance might be the first killer application. In today's video, I'll explain why, and how long it would it take to reach. What is a killer application? A killer application is a software application so innovative, useful, or popular that it significantly boosts the adoption and success of the platform or technology it operates on. Essentially, a killer app is a game changer, often leading to a surge in sales or widespread adoption of the associated hardware or operating system. Historical examples of killer apps include VisiCalc for the Apple II, Lotus 1, 2, 3 for IBM PCs, Netscape Navigator for the Internet. Microsoft Office for the Windows operating system, and the email application for the first BlackBerry devices. For quantum computers to take off, they also need a killer application to showcase the technology's unparalleled capabilities and immense utility to users, sparking excitement and driving widespread adoption. The quantum computing industry has been waiting for this killer application for a long time. But which one will it be? One application stands out Monte Carlo Simulation in Finance. But before we delve into this, let's understand what Monte Carlo is. What is Monte Carlo simulation? Monte Carlo simulation is a computational algorithm that uses repeated random sampling to obtain numerical results. It's a mathematical technique designed to predict the probability distribution of outcomes in uncertain situations. The name, Monte Carlo, comes from the famous casino in Monaco, reflecting the method's foundation in randomness and probability similar to casino games. The technique was developed in the 1940s during the Manhattan Project by pioneers like John von Neumann, Stanislaw Ulam. Inspired by Solitaire game, Ulam conceptualized the Monte Carlo approach, which von Neumann later refined. With the rise of digital computers, they saw the potential to use these machines for numerous random simulations to address complex problems across various scientific fields. At its core, Monte Carlo simulation uses randomness to solve problems that are deterministic. By running many randomized iterations, patterns emerge, revealing the probability distribution of outcomes. This allows for quantifiable predictions in highly uncertain systems. What can Monte Carlo do for finance? In finance, Monte Carlo simulation is a widely used technique for risk assessment and long-term forecasting. As the finance industry is inherently forward-looking, Monte Carlo methods allow analysts to quantify the impact of unpredictable or unknown variables. Some common applications include Pricing stock options. The Monte Carlo model can track potential price movements of the underlying asset across various variables. The results are averaged to indicate the most probable option payoff. Portfolio valuation. By testing different portfolio configurations using Monte Carlo simulation, analysts can compare the risks between portfolios. Retirement planning. Simulations can determine if a retirement portfolio will last by assigning random values to unknown factors like market returns and lifespan. Repeated iterations predict the probability of different outcomes. How can quantum do better? Running a Monte Carlo simulation on a classical computer can be time-consuming due to the number of runs needed for a confident solution. Quantum computers can achieve a quadratic speedup over classical simulations. Unlike classical bits, which can only be 1 or 0, quantum bits or qubits can be both simultaneously. Quantum computers can solve these problems much faster than classical computers. This is because quantum computers use phenomena like superposition, which makes quantum bits behave differently than classical bits. In recent years, quantum tech providers and large financial institutions have collaborated on quantum Monte Carlo projects in finance, making significant progress. In a June 2023 blog post on IONQ's website, it stated, the additional processing power of quantum computers can make Monte Carlo algorithms much more powerful than with classical computing. The article listed three major advantages of quantum Monte Carlo. Number 1. Quantum computers are known to be the world's best random number generators. Number 2. Quantum computers can analyze all possible states in a more comprehensive and efficient way. Number 3. 
quantum computers also have another important advantage over classical computation they can handle all-to-all -all connectivity, surpassing the limits of point-to-point -point connectivity. IBM and JP Morgan IBM, a pioneer in quantum computing, launched the first commercial quantum computer in 2019. To date, it has installed over 20 IBM Quantum System ones globally. It also built a quantum network with over 210 large companies, including more than 10 large banks. JP Morgan is one of them. In 2020, in collaboration with IBM and ETH Zurich, the bank published a paper titled, Option Pricing Using Quantum Computers. By applying amplitude estimation on an IBM quantum computer, it achieved a quadratic speedup compared to classical Monte Carlo methods. For option pricing, while the classical Monte Carlo simulation needs millions of samples, its quantum counterpart achieves a significant speedup with only a few thousand samples. IONQ with Goldman Sachs and QC Ware Goldman Sachs has also been working on quantum Monte Carlo. In a September 2021 news release, it announced a collaboration with QC Ware, a quantum software provider, and IONQ, a quantum hardware provider. They demonstrated a state-of-the-art quantum algorithm that could speed up Monte Carlo simulations. IONQ and Fidelity IONQ collaborated with Fidelity Investments on quantum Monte Carlo projects. In a May 4, 2023 news release, IONQ announced that they developed an efficient and reliable design as a critical first step in applying quantum computing to Monte Carlo methods. Quantinuum Quantinuum formed in 2021 through the merger of Honeywell Quantum Solutions and Cambridge Quantum, excels in both hardware and software. The company has been working on Quantum Monte Carlo in finance for years. On September 12, 2023, it announced the creation of a full Quantum Monte Carlo integration, QMCI, engine, showing some evidence of a quantum advantage. It stated, QMCI applies to problems without an analytic solution, such as pricing financial derivatives. Ilyas Khan, chief product officer of Quantinuum, said, Quantinuum's end-to-end -end QMCI engine offers a significant boost to the productivity of users in banking and financial institutions. Xanadu with Canadian banks Xanadu, a Canadian quantum startup based in Toronto, was established in 2016. Now, with a team of over $170 and $275 million in funding, the company uses a photonic approach for qubits. Xanadu collaborated with the Bank of Canada to test a quantum Monte Carlo algorithm. In June 2022, a working paper titled, Quantum Monte Carlo for Economics, Stress Testing and Macroeconomic Deep Learning, was published. The paper stated, using the quantum Monte Carlo algorithm, we studied whether quantum computing can improve the runtime of economic applications. Xanadu also worked with Canadian commercial banks. In 2019, the company researched with BMO and Scotiabank on quantum computing speedups for trading. They used a quantum Monte Carlo algorithm developed by Xanadu, predicting speedups hundreds to thousands of times faster. Zapata with BBVA Zapata, a software company specializing in quantum algorithms, has also been working on Monte Carlo in finance. In May 2021, in partnership with BBVA, a major bank based in Madrid, Spain, they claim their research revealed practical ways for quantum algorithms to speed up the Monte Carlo simulation process. How far are we? How far are we from a killer app in quantum computing? The answer is probably a few years away. According to a 2021 paper co-authored by Goldman Sachs, the University of Maryland, and IBM Quantum, researchers found that to achieve a quantum advantage in derivative pricing, it requires 8,000 logical qubits and a T depth of 54 million. These requirements are beyond current systems. In a group discussion with experts in quantum Monte Carlo from Moody's Analytics, HSBC, and QC Ware, the consensus is that practical use in finance is at least five years away. Summary To summarize today's video, we discussed why and how Monte Carlo simulation in finance could be the first killer app in quantum computing. Experts estimate it requires 8,000 logical qubits and is probably 5 years away. What do you think? Please leave your comments below. Thank you.